Hello everyone and now welcome to a game Sheik versus Anima. This game taking place here on Rune Mall. Sheik has spawned as the blue undead over here on the bottom right hand side of the map, opening things up with an altar of darkness and a crypt. No big surprise there. Anima on the other side of the map, opening things up with an altar of kings, barracks, and what? Wait for the peasant to go build that farm. And this game is now underway. Two minute mark or one minute mark will start the showing or start showing which heroes will be trained up. And here we are. It will be a mounting king going up against a dreadlord. The dreadlord has become a recently popular hero because of that carry on swarm and that carry on swarm being able to shut down flying machines. Very important to keep those destroyers alive that aoe damage extremely effective and then have that coupled with uh, well a death knight second and maybe even a lich third it does work players things out Hello, thank you for tuning in however you may be watching however you may be listening thanks um, well thanks for spending some time with me also for all you guys out there i don't think i've done a reminder i've been a while for all you guys who do have a free amazon prime subscription remember to use it um, if you want to use it for me, that would be helpful to the channel as well. It helps pay the bills. Let's just say that. I know that for a, a lot of you guys out there in Europe don't know there are actually like caps on how much, um, how much internet um, data you can use. And if you go over a certain amount, then you end up paying extra. And I know that a lot my streaming does eat up a bit of my quota. <coughs> So, well, thank you for all of you guys who are supporting your, your channel in your own way. Mountain King did pick up a wand of mana stealing. Meanwhile, Dreadlord opting to go for a fast expansion attempt here. And taking to the north side, gonna already haunt that gold mine, getting up that ziggurat. Meanwhile, the Mountain King is considering his options on where he wants to creep. Gonna go after this Kobold Geomancer creep camp. Oddly enough, he has a, a pretty a pretty large army as we're gonna go see him go after all of these units here. No opening of with a Thunderclap. That Thunderclap would have slowed down all of those units quite a bit as we're now looking at the Dreadlord making a move out across the field here. Claws of attack plus five. Um, going to be able to deal some bits of damage here. Meanwhile, we can see a group of ghouls ready to swarm in the side here. We may see a call to arms, and here we are, here we go, trying to but deter those units. That is an arcane tower, not a guard tower. Not effective against all of those ghouls here, as we now see an engagement off to the north. All right, Dreadlord coming back across here, Mountain King. Um, alongside with some militias, the Dreadlord can try and engage. Skeletal minions are doing a little bit of poking. We could look at a carry on swarm, ready to push on through, get in some damage onto that poor footman. Stormbolt onto the Dreadlord there. Dreadlord, that I believe he did get the kill and is still getting some kills here after all of these units. Mountain King may go for level three Thunderclap here, or level four, no, level two, no, goes for Stormbolt instead and now gets the stun surround on the Dreadlord. Nicely done. The Dreadlord may be able to get off one more carry on swarm to try and push through all of these units. Timing's gonna be key. There it goes, taking down some more peasants, but the Dreadlord does get taken out. A couple more skeletal minions gonna get cleaned up here. We can see the Mountain King picking up that tome. And now what is the follow-up play? Down to the south, the ghouls were trying to test the waters here. I believe that is one peasant down. But as long as Anima continues to just train up more peasants, he should be able to, uh, well, still come out ahead remember any militia that are taken out right now yes they have to be replaced but they are not actually going to be feeding any experience all right militia trying to retreat all the way back out running laps around this field so to speak as the militia now trying to double back around again and again all right down to 10 hit points down the dead there as the units are looking to fall back meanwhile mountain king heading across over here getting in some storm bolts taking down acolytes and trying to shut down a lot of of the mining that is currently going on here as another ziggurat is going to end up getting cancelled or destroyed. This acolyte here down to 61 hit points. A Stormbolt would finish him off. They're trying to finish off some more units again and again. Another acolyte could get taken down. Mountain King could try and Stormbolt away or 
or at least try and take down some of these other units. The Acolytes are able to do a little bit of a crazy dance back and forth. Another Acolyte could get taken down. One, look, there goes one Acolyte. A new Acolyte shows up. A new Acolyte down. Now Mountain King up to level 4, fighting against all of these units here. Meanwhile, Expo off to the north on the other side. Well, Anima off over here to try and put pressure. And what is this? The Peasant was trying to build a farm to get out of position and now gonna go ahead and back away. We're seeing a teleporting Mountain King perhaps. And well, Mountain King does have a wand of mana stealing, could get that last bit of mana. Dreadlord, however, does have those boots of speed, something the Mountain King does not have as this one ghoul <coughs> could easily get it taken out. <coughs> <coughs> I am so sorry, yeah. Fighting off a bit of a cold. Dreadlord sits at level 2. Mountain King sits at level 4. Tech to tier 2 has not even been started by Anima as he's been trying to re-get more Acolytes. And now getting up a Necropolis here just in case the Mountain King does come around. Meanwhile, I'm sorry, Sheik, Anima has not tech to tier 2 either left and right getting me confused those so, yeah chic not taking the tier two anima not talking the tier two as well scroll of regeneration mountain king nope not able to get a storm bolt off just quite yet there it is there's that 200 hit point storm bolt five seconds stun and that ghoul does get taken out meanwhile both sides are still fighting their way through that low hit point ghoul will be able to get away clarity potion perhaps will it be used again no, it is not. Another clarity potion could have been started earlier and perhaps sniped down another uh, ghoul there. Instead, the Mountain King perhaps going to try and uh, chase once more. Now, there is plenty of gold for them to tech to tier 2. Not quite sure why they're not doing it just quite yet. The Mountain King is trying to keep its distance just a little bit. Wants to get a little bit more mana off Player of that clarity potion, perhaps for attack. one or two um, subsequent storm bolts. Tech to tier 2 has now been started by Sheik Anima. Also is teching that tier, teching the tier 2 as well. <coughs> as the Mountain King still giving chase. Dreadlord, uh, well, Ghoul is trying to head off to the north here. Should be able to take down some of those peasants. One scout tower upgrading the guard tower now. As the peasants are just getting cleaned up. How do you like the map, by the way? The... The, the far distance on the expo here on Rune Mall is it makes the makes the fighting a bit more interesting. Um, since your expo is, is not in a position where you can easily easily def um, defend, one ghoul getting taken down there. We're gonna see the arcane tower switch towers. Another ghoul gonna get taken out. Mountain King just getting so much experience, already sitting at four and a half, and now using up another clarity potion again. Are we gonna see perhaps a stormbolt go down onto that dreadlord? No, dreadlord moving far too fast as it's going to be able to shake all of those targets. Yeah. My human bias is showing um, showing that having the expo so far away is, is something that you don't see all that often. Normally, you should be able to militia clear out of that expo. You can do that, but it just seems a bit far as we see an arcane tower. Well, Dreadlord trying to blow through those units there. Mountain King is sitting at level 4. D uh, did now picked up a potion of invisibility, oddly enough. So with that potion of invisibility, oh, Goblin Sapper is now on the run and down here. And uh, we can see a Goblin Shredder going to try and jump in. Is the Mountain King going to get a Storm Bolt off on the Goblin Sapper? That is going to be huge. There is the Storm Bolt there preventing that as the Arcane Tower now needs to feed back onto that Dreadlord. Mountain King has no way of getting inside this base here as we are looking at the repairs on that guard tower now all right massive repairs are underway as the goblin zeppelin down to quickly down to 325 hit points being forced to back up guard tower um, upgrade complete arcane tower well we're looking at the goblin shredder trying to drop in um, some units here but not going to be able to do that easily as the arcane tower well there in comes another carry on swarm ripping on through all of these targets again as the peasants are now well, switching sides once more trying to get away from that goblin shredder what is well anima doing during this time he's gonna try and put pressure as we're just looking at ghouls and just constantly putting well constantly putting pressure on both the main base and the expo but well with another guard tower now getting up i don't believe it's going to be able to stick around for a very long time gargoyles are now taking to the skies so we need to see flying machine and we need to see that blacksmith done so that we can start transitioning into a workshop 
um, for those flying machines now. Mountain King sitting at level 4. Are we perhaps going to be looking at a Stormbolt across any of those units? There goes a Stormbolt there. And there's a Thunderclap slowing things down. Mountain King gets up to level 5. Going to go after more and more of these Acolytes again. Looking for full hit point Acolytes to perhaps snipe down easily. All right. What is going down with this Mountain King level 3 Stormbolt? And they're trying to finish off units one at a time. There goes another Acolyte again as the, these <coughs> Acolytes now getting cleaned up once more. Footmen do not even have the bend here. There goes another Acolyte. Mountain King sitting at five and well, making short work out of all of these units here. Meanwhile, Scroll of Town Portal retreating back. Griffin Aviary perhaps going to try and use Dragonhawk Riders with Shackle to clean things up out of the skies here. Guard Towers do have level 1 masonry upgrades to try and protect themselves from those gargoyles. <coughs> wow, yep. Death Knight out on the battlefield. A Dreadlord with a potion of mana. Death Knight with a Death Coil looking to well, gain a little bit more experience across the, uh, across the battlefield here. Mountain King going to come around the corner, perhaps find a low hit point Gargoyle can easily just snipe down. No, instead gets slept as the Mountain King is going to try and yes, get a kill off onto that Dreadlord. A Dreadlord ends up getting taken down. Wand of Mana Stealing there. Mountain King may go after another Stormbolt again and does exactly that. All right, does he have enough mana? I do not believe so. Mountain King's Wanda Mana Stealing. There's another Wanda Mana Stealing charge, and another Stormbolt could be enough. No, Potion of Invulnerability dodging at the last possible moment as the Mountain King is still giving chase. Potion of Invulnerability only lasts seven seconds. Mountain King needs one more point of mana to snipe down. Is he going to be able to get it? And it looks like no, he is not. The Death Knight able to back away in at time and pick up a Potion of Healing as well. All right, if you can't take down the Death Knight, well, might as well Stormbolt down and finish off Acolytes while the Acolytes are having a bit of a problem. Um, oh, another beautiful dodge there. Goblin Zeppelin, she totally baiting that one Stormbolt there, but the Mountain King really not caring as the Blood Mage giving Player more mana once again. All right, constantly picking up and dropping off units. That Goblin Zeppelin is completely full. Are we going to look at a Stormbolt, finish off some more units again and again? Um, could easily happen. Not quite sure why we're not seeing that, as the as we're going to see a quick, easy kill there onto a Gargoyle. All right, so Blood Mage attacks one time, followed by the um, Stormbolt of the Mountain King. Are we going to see a little bit of damage? One, two, try to find which one is low on hit points. Un difficult to do so, though, as you can see the Gargoyle being able to back up again. Some really nice play by Sheik getting in a couple of baits here. Meanwhile, Dragonhawk Riders off to the side. Animal War training has been started. We haven't seen a third hero being trained up as of yet as the Death Knight now doing a bit of creeping. Now remember, Gargoyles can normally win out in the fight against Dragonhawk Riders if you are looking at sheer supply numbers. Dragonhawk Riders take a little bit more supply, and because of that, well, there are generally more Gargoyles in the air than Dragonhawk Riders. With that said, uh, the Dragonhawk Riders, if they're able to, will shackle down those Gargoyles and also get that Animal War training going, they generally have the advantage as the Gargoyles want to do hit and run tactics and may not be able to dive in and attach themselves onto those units. Mountain King sitting at level 5, Blood Mage now sitting at level 2, Death Knight getting up to level 3 as the Dreadlord is now at level 4. Level 5, level 2 going up against a level 4, level 3 even in hero levels about as we're going to go into an engagement here. There's the shackles. Half of the gargoyles or half of the dragonhawk riders are there. And where uh, what is going on there? There's a carry-on swarm trying to finish off some of those units to try and tip things in, in favor of the other way. Death Knight comes across a big thunderclap right there as the blood mage needs to stay alive. All right, what is going down here? Are the gargoyles going to end up getting finished off? You can see them popping all over the place. And that is going to be it. Anima with the surprise number of of Dragonhawk Riders catching Sheik off guard, able to shackle down enough Gargoyles to tip that fight and then end up with the win. All right, all it took was that right there. Uh, hero kills 
um, going around uh, some beautiful micro play, but in the end, Sheik just wasn't able to handle the harassing Mountain King, and Anoma was able to get, I believe, that economic advantage. Um, yeah, seven, eight hundred gold more mined, even though five hundred gold more um, lost to upkeep. So yeah, about a two-minute gold mining difference there if you're talking about a single gold mine. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.